Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Avorian 2.0 with Lone Debater 7. And today we are going to be covering the new changes to the turret system in Avorian. Sorry, didn't mean to give you a seizure there. Let's go ahead and jump into our build menu and take a look at the turrets. So with Avorian 2.0, they kind of reworked how turrets operate now. So a lot of things have changed and I'm going to do my best to try to cover all those points um in this video if i miss something please drop a comment down below that way we can share it with everyone so the information is available um but i'm gonna do my best to, to get it all in one so let, let's see if we can do this to start with if you're if you've played aborium before you're probably familiar with the turret type so you have your basic damage turrets you've got salvaging lasers and you got mining lasers so that is the same the three basic types of turrets are pretty much the same except they changed the combat turret category into two turret categories. So you now have active DPS turrets. So kind of like your chain guns, your Tesla turrets, that stuff all falls in the active category or your combat turret category. Um, and then you have this new, so those are your arm turrets. That's what it's called. Arm turret slots is gonna refer to like chain gun, Tesla turrets. Unarmed slots is gonna refer to your salvaging lasers and your mining lasers. Defensive turret slots. Now this is a new addition with Avorian 2.0. So this is the first big change. Defensive turret slots refers to your automated like anti-fighter, anti-torpedo slots. So what I mean by that, like I have this anti-fighter cannon, that would be a defensive turret. And it will tell you if you hover over the turret, what type of slot it's gonna require. So these two turrets here, both require a defensive slot. This one requires defensive. This is an unarmed. This is a defensive and this is an armed. So they changed kind of the base setup of turret categorization to separate out your anti-torpedo, anti-fighter turrets from the rest of your combat turrets, which is cool because it allows you to stack a lot more um, DPS with your main arm turrets uh, and still have protection against torpedoes. Like normally, or at least back before Avorian 2.0, the way I would build my ship is I wouldn't even use the anti-torpedo, anti-fighter turrets because it was better to put a 100,000 DPS rail gun or whatever in the two slots as opposed to using those two slots for two tor anti-torpedo guns. You know what I'm saying? So it's changed a little bit now. It is actually worth your time putting these defensive turrets on because they don't uh, take up your arm turret slots usually. Now it does depend on your system. So the systems have, uh, have changed slightly uh, so now when you look at your turret control subsystems, this is an arbitrary turret slot. Uh, so if I permanently install it, I get four arbitrary turret slots and I get one auto turret slot. Now an auto turret slot should be a defensive turret slot. So let's go ahead and install this permanently and see. So if I fill out the other slots, let's just put in some basic arm turrets to kind of fill this out a little bit. We should have... Okay, so I am mistaken. We actually, it, it, that one, the plus one is referring to, um, like, we like we can have five uh, defensive turrets with that system installed, right? Like, you don't get the additional one. That additional one is applied to an armed or an unarmed turret. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then the other type of, you still have your, there's an auto turret control subsystem subsystem now, which is specifically for defensive turrets. Or well, what this does, it adds slots for independent turrets. So if I have some independent firing turrets, it should have like I should be able to place those um, a little bit more freely. So like if I had automated mining lasers or something, um, they would take this would give me slots for those. Same with salvaging lasers and stuff. So not a big deal. Hopefully that made sense. And then you've got your civil turret system. So that's just for unarmed turrets. It does give you defensive turret slots, as you can see. So you'll get, if you permanently install it, you get six uh, unarmed turret slots, but you also get two defensive turret slots, which is really cool because you can build a mining carrier that basically just has mining lasers on it, but you can still put like anti-torpedo, anti-fighter turrets on that ship which will give it some DPS. So it has a little bit of survivability outside of, you, as opposed to needing to install combat turrets on it and all that noise. 
Um, so that that's pretty cool. I do like the auto like the shift and how they categorize things. I think it needs a little bit more work, in my opinion. Like they need to kind of like the auto turret slots is not super clear on what that does because there isn't really a like stat for it um if that makes sense so like ho hopefully the, those changes will come as they you know continue working on the game which i'm sure they will uh we're gonna just put in another arbitrary so i can re-equip my dps but let's move on to the next part of what's changed with turret so if you played aborium when it first first came out and they first started like with the turret types and stuff like that they had a lot more different types of turrets and what i mean by that is you would get an, an iron chain gun like this and it would be more than just damage type physical plus six damage plus 26 fire rate right they could have special modifiers and stuff um to make the turret better even though it's still a chain gun if that makes sense and so they reintroduced that with the vorian 2.0 so if we look at this one um not the plasma this guy down here pulse gun for example this is not a standard turret type usually um so it has a little bit different uh then you've got a scorcher turret so this is like supposed to be a like a flamethrower is what this is supposed to be um but there's a bunch of different types of um like subcategories for each type of weapon now so like you can get a pulse firing chain gun a pulse firing rail gun um like there's there's a lot of cool modifier stuff on the turrets now that was not available in the game prior to the 2.0 update um so if you are looking for some cool new turrets uh 2.0 should have that for you now the way i usually place my turrets is i go dps per slot that way i get the most dps on my ship um generally speaking and i'm just gonna go primarily dps turrets we're gonna put two anti torpedo or anti fighter turrets at the back and then we're gonna go the rest with mining lasers so i need three slots for the mining lasers so i'm gonna go ahead and put those on next so i don't want to do our mining because i don't have a cargo bay yet uh let's see where did my lasers go there's one there's the other okay so there's my lasers i do need to pull off these two or two of these chain guns in order to have this uh the space for the anti-fighter turrets which is worth doing at this stage just because torpedo uh, one torpedo would like destroy my ship so like yeah i need to kind of worry about that then you go into your ship just like old school you assign each turret a key to toggle it on and off and yada yada now i have my uh defensive turrets on four because i already have the automation set for four you can put it on whatever slot you want not a big deal but there you go so i think that's pretty much the main changes to the turret system um outside of like turrets in general they did buff fighters we'll make a specific fighter video when i unlock uh trinium rather and have a couple good fighter templates but fighters got buffed like significantly so now when you have a squadron of fighters it's actually like worth using the fighters they don't get destroyed immediately um so yeah it does like mid to late game combat kind of can be done differently now than a, than and still be good and still be effective whereas before the 2.0 update you kind of were locked in one method but okay so we covered all the different turret types uh we covered what changed with the turrets in avorian 2.0 and all that fun stuff we play some turrets good times good times um hopefully this episode helped make sense of the changes to the turret system which is primarily the separation of arm turrets into arm turrets and defensive turrets uh and they kind of rebalanced it to where it is worth having some defensive turrets like you don't need you maybe don't need a whole bunch of them but you do want some because the pirates generally when you are clearing a pirate sector for building knowledge for example you're going to fight at least three or four torpedo shooting pirates. So having those anti-torpedo or anti-fighter turrets is really helpful to deal with that. Um, so it, it's uh, it's worth talking about. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to like the video as always and subscribe if you're new. And until next time, this has been Lone Debater 7, and we will see ya.